your girl KC Artist and welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be reviewing the um, Black Panther 2 Premiere Red Carpet, okay? Because no red carpet gets left behind. Let me stop. Um, I didn't do it right away. Um, the premiere was a couple of days ago. I wanted to wait and sit on this so I can see the looks because people, you know, some of these celebrities, they want to take their time with releasing their photos. And I just wanted to make sure I want, you know, got a good amount of people that I wanted to review. For if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and be a part of the family and to all my subbies. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I'm going to get right into the video because it was a packed, just amazing, spectacular red carpet. Um, I can't wait to see the movie. I'm a huge Marvel fan. <laughs> Look at my T, classic Black Panther. I'm a huge Marvel, anything superhero, DC comic fan. So I'm going to be seeing this movie. No ifs, ands, buts about it. But the red carpet, it was just on a whole nother level. It was giving very much um this is the event of of the freaking year this is the red carpet of the year that's what it was giving to me um so this is going to be very hard to do like a best and a worst because these celebs didn't come to play for real okay the first thing we're going to talk about is my girl angela bassett this purple freaking gown is spectacular it's phenomenal she look gorgeous like she literally is aging backwards the layers the the what is it the um what is that called the pleatedness the pleated uh layers it's giving luxury it's giving honey i've already been here and i'm just like doing what i do tens across the board she is gorgeous okay next we have okay my girl Re, re, Rihanna. Let me tell y'all something. Shout out to Rihanna for finally dropping some new music. Um, soundtrack to the, obviously she's doing, you know, a song on for the movie, okay? You yeah, have to check it out, check it out. But that's a whole nother video. Let's get into this look. First of all, she's just, she's a, she's a glowing mommy. Like, she's such a glowing mommy. Oh my God. Okay, so, I kind of like it. You know, Re, in my opinion, felt like I feel like she can't really do no wrong. Um, and I kind of oddly enough like it. It's giving trash bag chic. It is, but in a good way. And that's no shade, no tea. Like it's it's giving. Like I love this. What is this? Is it a sequence? I don't know. I think it might be a sequence, but it, I like it. And then shout out to her. her her baby daddy, you know what I'm saying? Color coordinating. He understood. He understood. Um, for me, I rather would have seen him something else. But I feel like he's just like, I'm letting her shine. I, this is her moment. I'm letting her shine. I'm here to support my baby mama. And that's what it is. So um, ASAP, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do by letting her shine. So I'm not really feeling the outfit. But the color coordination tends okay. Um, next we go have is Michael B. Jordan. That man is fine. Y'all can't tell me. I am a lesbian woman, but I can still tell you when a man is fine, and he's fine. I love the color on him. I love this yellow. I love yellow. I love yellow. I love golden. I mustard. I love that color on our skin tone. I like this suit that he got on now the blogs the the internet y'all was really going <laughs> y'all was going ham talk about he looked like the mask and because he's so he's so just dope and real he made fun of his own self you know like i just love it i love his personality go, go ahead show that personality michael but i adore it like i like it i like the color I like how it's kind of like being on him. Lately, he's been wearing like bigger outfits. Is this a trend, Michael? Is this something that you like doing? Because this is like the second time I've seen you where your suits are like kind of a little bit bigger on you, but it's working for me. It's working. So I like it. 
Anyways, next we have this Tyler Perry. Um, he looks handsome. He looks handsome. He looks put together. I like the purple flowery uh, um, jacket he got on. S standard bow tie. He looks crisp. He looks clean. He understood. He knows what this is about. And he looks good. If you say otherwise, you're a hater. He looks good. Anyways, next we have is your girl Latia Wright. First of all, I love a woman in a suit. I love a freaking woman in a suit that's tailored to their body. She did that. She looks gorgeous. Her, the fact that her, like she got like a fade going on. Oh my God. And just the perfect amount of accessories with the earrings. That's all she needed with the ring. Yo, she's giving who female daddy. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. But she paid homage to the late Chad, like, I'm telling you, in the premiere, he wore something that's similar. So I love how she showed her respect. If this is not iconic, if this is not speaking volumes, this is speaking volumes. She is showing her respect to Chad and, you know, continuing the legacy. Man, I got chills when I saw this. I got freaking chills. Like, I can't wait to the movie. I can't wait. I'm going to be crying. And I, I'm a cry baby, but I'm going to be crying. But tens. Tens, tens, tens. I love this. I love everything about it. Everything. Anyways, next we have is your girl Lapita. First of all, honey, what color, like what color don't look good on our skin tone? Like, come on. This white, like this rope kind of like embellishment that she got going on with the with the skirt and oh she looked like a freaking goddess lapita looks like a goddess y'all her body is top tier the the hair the oh my god nothing about this was wrong everything about this was right i love it i love it she wore my mind oh my god Hands. She gorgeous, regal. She's just stunning. Okay. Next we have is Michaela. Michaela, I love her hair, the platinum hair. Um honestly, I'm not a hundred percent fan of this outfit, but she still looks beautiful. She still looks stunning. I love the I love the headpiece the most of it. Um, and then the arms, the, 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 uh, what is it called? The gloves. I love the sheer gloves that she got going on, uh, for the dress itself. I don't know. I don't know. Is the headpiece connected to the dress? It might be, it might be connected to the dress, but if it is connected to the dress, the headpiece tends the dress. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe a little bit more hugging her body. I would have been like, Ooh, yeah. You know? But yeah, I don't hate it, but I don't like love. It. All right, next we have your girl Denai, honey, the purple, the purples, the ruffles, the ruffles, the ruffles. If y'all know, I love me some ruffles, y'all. Now here's the thing: the only thing that I will critique about this gown is I kind of don't like the asymmetrical bottom, you know, that she got going on. I'd rather it have been completely down or just short all the way through. And it would have been impactful for me, you know, if it was one or the other. Um, but the ruffles tops of it, tens, honey, tens, okay? The makeup is stunning. I love the hair. I love what she did with her braids and it has like, oh yes, yes, yes. But honestly, the hair with the dress, I feel like it's too much. It's like clashing because like if you're gonna do that bold statement with your hair, having the ruffles or like, uh, you know, close to your face, close to the hair is a bit too much. It's like doing it. It's like, ooh, pick, 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 pick a battle, pick a battle. Which one, which one you want to show out? Like pick a little bit. So I can't sit here and say I love this 100% because for me, if I was the stylist, I would have had her hair something a lot different. I had the bottom of it either really long or short all the way through or take off the ruffles with the, the top if she wants to with that hair uh, statement piece, you know? But that's my opinion. All right, 
Next, we have is your girl Marseille. First of all, honey, I'm sorry, this is a bird. It's like a red, but it's beautiful out there. Oh my God, I'm, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. Y'all, I just want y'all to, I wish I could see it. But anyway, it went away. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Marseille, first of all, honey, you've just been showing out. You're literally trying to step into your own adulthood, a woman. You're trying to get rid of that childlike, like, okay, I'm not a child anymore. I'm a woman. I'm, I'm a lady. I'm a young lady. And I'm stepping into my own. And you're showing out. Everything about this is gorgeous and stunning. Like, every little thing from the earrings, from the makeup, from the hair. I love how she just did a dramatic earring and that's it. No other jewelry on her neck or anything. She's showing that bare collarbone, like shoulders, just, oh, this, this top, top tear, 100% top tear. Like, baby, you did that. This is the second time in a row that I'm telling you, you did that. Oh, gorgeous. Whoever your stylist is, sh they did that, okay? Um, and next, we go have is Winston. He just look like a cool dude, okay? He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. Um, you can't go wrong with all black. And then the jacket that he got going on. He's giving very much chill, very much vibey, very much cool chill, you know? I like it. I like it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't love it, but I like the chillness that he got going on. Um, I kind of wanted him probably to do a little bit more, you know, but he, he's doing it. He's doing it. Okay. Next we have is Reggie. What is it? Re Reggie? Reggie G? I'll probably pronounce his name wrong. I'm sorry. Um, but he's so handsome. He is so handsome with this smile of his, but, um, I like the color of the suit, just classic, just real clean cut. He looks handsome, very clean, very classic. Okay, Duke. Shonda, the Bridgerton people, y'all need to get him back on it because I didn't really care for the second, uh, the second season. Y'all need to, y'all need to bring him back somehow. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. It's about this. I like it, clean cut, classic. He can't do wrong with the classic suit, you know? Anyways, we got to do a duo. We got to do the sisters, okay? Chloe and Haley. First of all, my, my body, 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 body. Like, Haley is just so stunning. And, like, it's like she just has this, like, softness, elegance, like, regalness about her that she doesn't even have to try hard. I love this black. I love this black. She looks absolutely beautiful. The makeup, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The only thing I would do different is the earrings. I feel like the earrings is clashing with the necklace on her. But other than that, it's just beautiful. I love the gown that she picked. Um, let's go to uh, Chloe. Va, va, boom. I love a plunge. I love a plunge. Y'all hear me? Oh, she's the sparkliness, the, the two slits. I will say I would have preferred it to be one slit. It would be more impactful if it was just one slit, in my opinion. But hey, it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous um, gown. They look beautiful, completely beautiful. So yeah. Okay, next we have is Daniel. I love the color. I love this maroon color. I love it. I love it. The only thing I would do different is just do it to the top. Daniel, the shirt, like button it to the top, button it to the top. That's the only thing I would do different, but I love the color. I love it. The suit is tailored to his body perfectly. And that's the only thing I would do different. It was just a slight, I'm telling you, something so slight and simple could just elevate it even more immaculate. And if he would have buttoned it to the top, it would have it would have been definitely impactful. So I can't say tens, but I can say a solid eight, a solid eight and a half, you know? All right, next is we have is Jamila. Hey girl, hey girl. Um, She, I just feel like she just came to the function. She just came to the function. Um, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Cause I just feel like she just came to the function. She's like, I'm just coming, you know? 
And maybe that's her right. Maybe she's just like, you know, it's for them. It's for them. Let them shine. And I'm just here because I got an invite and I, I want to see the premiere, you know? But this is the carpet, mama. This is still a monumental time. This is just... This is history. I wanted to see a little bit more from her and she can give more. She can do a lot. So I was left underwhelmed with her outfit. Um, the glasses is cool and funky, but I was real underwhelmed with it. So that's all I gotta say about and it. Next we have is Kamal. I love this salmon pink that you got going on. I love it. Now you see what I'm talking about. All you need is the button collar. You see how clean this, this dude look. You see how clean he look? I'm telling you, if Dan would have done that, top tier. I love this. I love it. I love the double breasted. I love it. I love it. I love the color on him. It's perfect for his skin tone. It does not wash him out at all. Tens. Tens. He might be the best looking man of the night with the color and everything. Ten for me. For me, tense. It's real clean. He look clean. And the next we have is Choshi Gomez. Um, I love the black. I love the black. It, it's 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 resembling like to me. Her gown is reminding me of Black Panther's uh, armor suit that he's wearing. Tell me that's not giving me that. And it might be highly intentional. And if it is, okay, you did that, Mama. I love that. You know what I'm saying? But she looks beautiful. She looks stunning. And yeah, okay, next we have is Tenoch. Um, first of all, I like it. Just real clean cut, you see? Collar to the top, he knows, he knows. Um, it's very simple, you know, he, he's not going all out, but just real, just simple, clean cut. And that's, you know, he just looks good. He looks good, simple, clean cut. Okay, so next is your, we have is your girl Karuchi, Karuchi. First of all, mama, this golden mustard yellow that you got going on is giving. It's giving. It's giving. I love it. I love, I love it. I love the details. I love, what is this? It's like a pleatedness. Like, pleated was a lot on, like, on the red carpet, I see. But I love it. I'm absolutely here for it. I love how her hair is just pulled back in a braid or a twist. I love the eye makeup, the pop of color with that turquoise color. I'm here for it all. Next we have is Tessa. Tessa, Tessa. Okay, y'all, this might be the one that I'm just like, mm, I'm not feeling 100%. The white on her, stunning, okay. But it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, it's just, it doesn't have no type of form, no type of shape, no type of anything. It's just like a sheet wrapped by a pillowcase, just like put on. Like, it's just not, Snuggies look better than this, you know, in my opinion. I just, I, I'm so underwhelmed. I'm so like disappointed because she is powerhouse in fashion. Like, come on, you know? Um, so I was not, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't, I, mm -mm. it's like, it's, it's giving the vibe with Camilla. Like it's just, they just threw something together. Let's like, let's just go, you know, at least with Tessa though, she was like, hmm, let me see a little bit. Um, where something that it actually looked like that she probably went out to go get a gown, um, for, whereas Camilla, it just looked like she just took something out of her closet and was like, let's go to this function, you know? But I'm not, because I know what she can do. I'm just like, Ugh. Anyways, that's it. We have is Quinta. Quinta, see, pleated another, again, I'm telling you, pleated this, whatever. I love this two-tone combination. I love this, what, it's like a navy with the gold. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Um, she looks really beautiful, really stunning. The only negative I would say is it's kind of aging her a little bit. You know, I feel like a seasoned woman, I would be like, you know, but she's young, she's youthful, she's like, you know, I wanted a little bit different from her in this, in this aspect. It's it's giving like the that that great auntie vibes, you know, come on, you know, like it is. So it's it's aging her. But the gown itself is beautiful. But I would have if it was on somebody else, I would have been like, Yeah, you know. But um it's aging her, so I'll say that's that for that. Last but certainly not least is we have Ryan. Um, 
clean cut, you see, but it's at the top. You know, so damn, I'm disappointed. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, keep saying it because I'm disappointed, damn. But, anyways, clean cut, just regular, simple, white, you know. But I love how he paid homage to Chad, the late Chad. Like, I love the necklace piece. It's just, I feel like that was it. That was what the statement. He didn't want to do too much. He didn't want to do too much with his outfit. He wanted to be clean, just cut, just, just angel like almost. And then, that's what he wanted to stand out the most was the the necklace and it did because it you went straight to it you go straight to it so he knew what he was doing it was very highly intentional and i'm here for it that's it about my red carpet so y'all the best dress for me oh my god let me see real quick who is the best dress is it a tie this is hard i think it's going to be another tie is going to be Latia uh, White and uh, Lupita. They just understood everything. It was a time. They, come on. It, they was the best dress for me. It was just so impact. Latia's, it was so impactful of the statement that, you know, she embodied Chad. Like she was like, this is for him, but still held her own. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, and then Lupita with this goddess gown who they was my best top 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 and my worst oh uh, like something is telling me to give it to tessa but because she at least is that is that even more bad like if you go out and get a gown for something an occasion it's not so i might just this might be a tie i'm gonna give it to uh, uh jamila and tessa for the worst of the night of the evening and i'm just like that's like mm. but they still very much beautiful beautiful beings okay just for the outfit itself i just wanted a little bit more i wanted no i wanted a lot more i was so underwhelmed with it um but huh if y'all made it to the end of this video you might as well subscribe and be a part of the tribe and let me know in the comments that i missed out and i try not to miss anybody that's why i waited you know but people get you know slips through the cracks okay let me know in the comments do you agree with my best dresses for the two do you agree with my worst dresses or do you not care let me know who your best dress uh wakanda forever is coming out oh my god i can't wait and rihanna back with the song let me know in the comments if you like rihanna's single um but yeah until next time peace out